get started. Uh, man, I've always heard about great games between Air Force and Wyoming, and this certainly was one of those. It was a hard-fought game, lots of ebbs and flows during the course of the game, and we're really pleased that we won. I think it's building up you know, a lot of momentum for our players to keep believing in the system and uh, keep trucking along, never giving up. Um, we've got room for improvement without question, but uh, we're going to enjoy this win. This was a hard-fought win over a very good program. So at this time, be more than happy to answer any questions anybody might have. We've talked about that last drive. I know offensively you just, it was kind of a struggle, especially running the ball. But what, what clicked and, and what did you necessarily see from Colby where he really, really put a, a, an impressive right. drive together? Well, first of all, I thought our offensive line did a nice job of protection, and Coach Veeden did a, a masterful job of putting them in and out of some really good play selections. Uh, and then typically, as the game goes along, it's it's always tougher for a defensive lineman to generate some pass rush. And so we made some plays. Uh, we knew we were going to be in consistent four-down territory there. And, and we leveraged it right to the last deal and came up with a, a bootleg for the touchdown. And so um, we had one drive left in us, and we needed every – a bit of that drive. Do you feel Colby grew up in that last drive a little bit, considering his inexperience? For an older guy, he certainly did. Um, you know, those are hard things to do, and uh, so we'll build on that confidence. This is going to be a great moment to build for us and for him personally. But the defense program, I mean, you know, you've said you're going to leverage your defense, and you know, Air Force gets their thing. They came out throwing on you quite yeah. a bit, but you're able to to hang in there and get stops and get a turnover for the first time in the season. So I imagine you got to be pleased with the way your defense Well, this offense is a prolific offense. It poses all kinds of uh, challenges, and our defensive staff and the players really bought in. Now, Air Force had, some, had us on the run a little bit, uh, but we, uh, we did not give up any big plays tonight. Uh, maybe there was something like 20 yards, but you can make them go the long, hard way and come up with a – you know, a couple stops here and there, which we did. And um, so we're well pleased. Anytime you hold that point total down, your opportunities for wins go way up. Coach, J.D. Krill was a guy last year did have a single catch, and now, you know, he's had three in a couple of games and, and some big ones, obviously. Yeah. Just how capable is he and how good was it to see him make that catch? Uh, that well, it was a big-time right. catch, and it's going to be one that, that I'll always remember, and I imagine he will as well. And, you know, in our offense, we utilize the tight ends a lot in the pro-style offense, and so it's been good. To have him here, and he's been a, certainly a pleasant surprise, and we've utilized his skill set, and tonight was a big, great case for that. Craig, were you surprised that you knew that Pearson could throw the ball? I know they didn't show it a lot in their first game, but were you surprised as, as much and as well as they, they threw on you, especially early? I was not surprised. I know uh, they had talked about his throwing ability. He threw the ball a little bit against Nichols, but really didn't need to. And tonight, you know, they started out and they hit a couple of hitches. Uh, we didn't tackle particularly well uh, at the corner position. We hadn't tackled well in the first game, and obviously they picked up on that. And so we had to change up some coverages, and I think once we did that, that certainly helped because early in the game they had us on the run. What were they able to do to, to stop uh, or slow down your running game, which was so effective against Montana? It looked like they were throwing a lot of guys into the box trying to stuff it. Well, some of it, uh, you know, they were slipping some blocks up in front. Some of it's 3-4. We knew that was going to come in into play. And I thought their defensive line also uh, did a nice job. And um, We knew they were going to load the box. And what we're going to have to do is connect on some plays. We had a couple big plays. And uh, that certainly, in a passing game, that certainly opened the game up. What about your run defense, Coach? Uh, obviously, you're not going to shut down a team like that. But you were able to slow them down enough? Let's be in discipline, and you're right. You're not going to just stone a uh, wishbone offense. They're going to they're going to be able to move the ball some. And so what you try to do is just uh, prevent big plays. The next plays ours. Keep on hanging in there, uh, gang tackle, and that's what we did tonight. And, you know that game came down to one last possession. We were on the right side of the ledger. Okay, the bootleg call on third down was that, was that Rance or was that yours when the, no. the timeout or? That was Coach Vegan's. Yeah. Believe me, uh, there's very few offensive plays that I call around this place. And Coach Vegan's been doing that for a long time. He's uh, he's got ice water running through his veins. I mean, he's three plays ahead, and so we were all set on that. Did you say you were? Was it going to be four down? If you didn't got it, would you have gone for it on fourth down, or would you gone for overtime? Or we'll let that be determined <laughs> by another day.
How big was uh, the turnover battle? I know you guys just had one, but you guys didn't turn it over, obviously. You know, how important was it when it, with two field position teams to, to win that? It was critical, especially how we play and how they play. And so uh, ball security was really important. We've been stressing that, and it came about. You know, I thought for the most part it was a pretty clean game, too. There was not a lot of sloppy plays out there, penalties and turnovers. How big was uh, Jordan Stan tonight? Yeah, it seemed like he was all over the place, had a sack, just was all over the ball. He had a big play, and I, I think he was a guy that forced the fumble too, which yeah. was a huge play at that time, and I think it uh, really gave a spark to our whole football team.